you only on our TV six, a first for Indianapolis, a national program expanding in our city that will pair up police with houses of worship to improve trust for public safety and address crimes in the neighborhood. Rafael Sanchez joins us live with this story that you'll see only on our TV six. Good evening, Rafael. Mark, good evening. As you know, in our city, there's a hunger to find a solution to all of the violence. The days of saying enough is enough is simply not enough, and it's not getting the job done. The Father's House is a place of praise, prayer, and where police are welcome. It's not the only place where that happens, and now there's a movement to expand the places of worship that will support Indianapolis police officers walking the beat. Hey, th there might be something to this since we've been trying all these other things forever and it hasn't worked. How about if we try something different? The Georgia-based One Cop program will expand its efforts outside the metro Atlanta area. Indianapolis, the first city chosen to implement their program, focused on improving relations between police and the public on every level with the help of faith leaders from churches, mosques, temples, and synagogues. Those houses of worship have influence. They have resources that ought to be combined with law enforcement resources to both improve police community relationships, but as well crime and violence that we continue to see in communities of every kind. This comes after relations with police in Indianapolis were frayed following the fatal police shooting of Aaron Bailey last summer. The Fraternal Order of Police is embracing the Georgia program as part of its own Think Bigger initiative. It gets us above our common dialogue and divisions in this local community. It brings that national attention in here, but it also allows us to, to highlight and showcase what it is that we do so well. There are no strings attached to this worship service. Just a call to give something new a try for the sake of the city's future. At some point, you and I have to take personal responsibility for ourselves and our community. The goal is to launch the One Cop program here in Indianapolis on August the 28th, which brings us, Mark and Amanda, to this place. This is the Kennedy King Memorial Park on the city's north side. August the 28th is a key date. That marks the 55th anniversary when Dr. King delivered the I Have a Dream speech during the march on Washington. We're live tonight on the city's near north side. Rafael Sanchez, RTV6.